let us see about power mosfet so this is a practical mosfet which has uh, three terminals gates drain and source uh, this shows the data sheet of power mosfet uh, with uh, following parameters uh, this is the voltage drain source voltage drain current and one more parameter which is important is rds that is called the drain source resistance or on state resistance of mosfet because uh, the resistance of the mosfet is very high that it will be specified here and um, uh, conduction loss of the mosfet is very high so normally mosfets are used only for low voltage application so only it is used for 400 volts the another thing is uh, you can find a diode in anti parallel with the mosfet we will see why they are uh, representing a diode in anti parallel with the mosfet uh, the best application of mosfet is it is used for very high frequency application that is the advantage of mosfet so there are two types of mosfet namely enhancement type and depletion type in that you have n channel and p channel depending upon the type of a semiconductor material used so this is a n channel mosfet and this is a p channel one you can see that the gate terminal in a mosfet will be insulated from the rest of the device so there will be a gap here and again this is a drain terminal this is a source terminal and the center part is called the body of the mosfet and that will be shorted to the source so the name enhancement comes from that if i give the gates as voltage if the drain current increases that is called enhancement type mosfet in depletion type mosfet when we apply the gate source voltage drain current decreases but only this enhancement type mosfet that to n channel mosfet is preferred in power electronic circuits and this doesn't find any application in power electronic circuits mosfet it is a unipolar device meaning that the current flow is due to only majority carriers since uh, only majority carriers has to be removed during turn off process um, it can be used for high switching frequency because the turn off time will be very less so you can go for high switching frequency but the only drawback is that uh, on the on state resistance of the mosfet is high so it is normally used in low voltage applications let us see the structure of power mosfet which is similar to that of uh, power bjt a normal npn structure only is used for power mosfet so this n plus region forms the drain of the power mosfet so to take the terminal out or to make electrical connection we need a metallic layer so here a metal layer is formed then in all power uh, devices we need a drift region to increase the reverse blocking capability of the device then this p region forms the body of the mosfet in which the n plus regions are grown to make the source of the mosfet as i said earlier Uh, the gate terminal should be insulated from the rest of the device so this yellow color region is called the sio2 layer or it is a insulating layer which insulates the gate terminal from the rest of the mosfet so to make electrical connection for the gate you need a metallic layer so this gate terminal which is separated from this one by this sio2 layer but source should be connected to the body of the uh, mosfet so metallic contacts are made here now if we see this structure it is a np so it is a pn junction again here also a pn junction so two diodes are connected in opposite direction so whatever voltage i give here one of the diode will be always 
reverse biased whether it is positive here or negative here one of the diode will be reverse biased so there is no chance for current flow so what can be done is you give a gate source voltage with gate positive and source negative so in that case what happens this is a SiO2 layer so it is acts like a insulator so this forms a capacitor so this capacitive structure what happens when you give a voltage here positive voltage here negative electrons will flow in this region so or it will uh, attract this negative electrons here so here it is positive so it will attract negative electrons here so these negative electrons will increase with the increase of gate source voltage so as this voltage increases thickness of the layer also increases this layer is called the air channel or inversion layer so this helps to uh, form a channel so that current can flow from this region to this region so once a channel is formed drain current will flow from here to source so this is how mosfet conducts so n channel is created with the help of this gate source voltage and uh, gate is insulated from the rest of the device so it will not draw more current from the uh, gate source voltage so uh, a small microcontroller can easily drive the mosfet so driver circuit design is easy and this is a enhancement type mosfet because as you increase the gate source voltage the drain current increases so if you see the structure of um, mosfet you have a npn structure so this leads to a parasitic bjt structure in the mosfet and this is called uh, body spreading resistance of mosfet and it is ensured that uh, while designing this resistance is kept to a low value and um, this uh, part the uh, emitter and base will be shorted so that uh, the bjt will always remain in cutoff state and the remaining junction this base collector junction will be there which uh, uh, which is like a pn junction or it is uh, like a diode pn junction diode so this is represented here so p and n so in source side you have the anode and um, in drain side you have the cathode so it will be represented here actually drain current flows from drain to source but this is in opposite direction to, so it is called a anti parallel diode or body diode so uh, when the mosfet conducts it carry current from drain to source but in some application when the mosfet is off this body diode can carry the full current in the opposite direction but the problem with this uh, body diode is that the device will not be able to block the reverse voltage because uh, uh, either this conducts or this conducts so it cannot block the reverse voltage so let us see about the transfer characteristics which is drawn between the drain current and the gate source voltage so till um, gate, gate threshold voltage there will be no drain current because till uh, threshold voltage n channel will not be created after that only n channel starts to build up so uh, if you increase uh, gate source voltage drain current will increase continuously so till this threshold voltage device will be in off state so next is the output characteristics of the mosfet drawn between the output current and the drain source voltage and the curve is drawn for a different uh, gate source voltage so this is uh, similar to that of um, bjt except that here you have a base current in bjt so it is called a um, current control device but in mosfet gate source voltage controls the output current so it is called a voltage control device similar to bjt it has three regions 
cut off region active region and ohmic region so we normally operate in cut off region or ohmic region in ohmic region there is a linear relationship between drain current and um, drain source voltage and this slope is called the on state resistance of the device and this on state resistance reduces with vgs so points to remember here are it's a unipolar device it's a voltage control device it can be used for high frequency operation it has high input impedance and they have a positive temperature coefficient so they are suitable for parallel operation the drawback is that uh, its on state resistance is very high so it is not suitable for very high power application so these are the references if you like the video do subscribe to our channel thank you